Hi guys, welcome. We're gonna do a fall along glute workout, aka your dump truck. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you through the entire thing. We're gonna start with mobility, dynamic stretching, which is super important if you wanna really feel that workout and prevent injuries. And then after that, we're gonna do a little bit of a body weight warm up, and then we're gonna get into the working sets. And then we're gonna do the cool down stretches. So if you're confused and you have no idea what to do at the gym, then this video is for you. So let's get started. I'm a mother today, a mother. Hey, stay, stay. Coco, no, no. We're gonna work on our hips. So why do I put so much emphasis on your hips? Because if you have tight hips, it's gonna pull on your lower back. You're not gonna have depth in your squat. So it's so important to open and loosen up those hips. And that's like the tightest part because all of us are like sitting behind a chair or a computer on a chair and not moving. So this is my favorite hip work that I do. It's, it looks weird, so you could do it at home. But you're just gonna try to spread your feet as far as, part as, as, far apart as possible and really get that stretch. It should be painful, you know? And hold it for like 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, after you're done with that, you're gonna stay in the same position and what you're gonna do is slowly bring this up and then down. You don't wanna move your upper body as much, just try to stay as still as possible and up, down. Up, down, 20 reps. So 20 reps together. Okay, after that, what we're gonna do, we're still doing hip work. I call these the 90-90s. Start like this. You could not use your hands, but I like to use my hands for more stability. And just like have my back straight your knee should form like 90 degrees. So you don't wanna go like this, right? Your knee should be like 90 degrees apart. And what you're gonna do is you're working out your hips. So you should feel a little bit of like tightness, a little bit of cramping as you go down like this. You're gonna do that total of 10 to 12 times. And everything's just one set because you're just warming up, you're not really doing a working set. More emphasis on the hips. So you're gonna grab onto something and you're gonna do leg swings. 10 reps on each leg, one set. So you don't wanna go like this. I'm not using my upper body. I'm saying as still as possible. The only thing that's moving is that leg. So, like that. And after you finish that, you're gonna turn around and just do it sideways. Perfect. Hips are open. Now, if you have knee problems, this is perfect for you. I literally do this every leg day, even on cardio days, because when I don't, my knees hurt, they pop, not really a good feeling. So, literally do this every single time. You're gonna come and grab a resistance band. Grab a resistance band, any resistance is fine. If you get a thicker band, it's gonna be tougher. I just like like a thin band, cause then you could just you know play around with the resistance by going farther away from where you tie the knot. But pick something stable, like a pole. So we're gonna go find a pole, so come with me. So you're gonna find a pole, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab the resistance band, and then just pull it like this, at around knee height. And then you're gonna put it right behind your knee, and go as far as possible until you really feel that resistance. And then stand up straight, it's on one knee, you're having both feet on the floor, you're not going like this, foot is stuck on the floor, and then you're doing this. So you should feel it in your quads, but it warms up your knees. You're gonna do 10 reps 
on each knee and we're gonna do this a total of three times. So it's three sets, 10 reps each knee. We're gonna do a warm up, body weight. We're gonna do one set, 20 reps of reverse lunges, alternating. And then we're gonna do one set, 10 reps of static lunges. So one set for static lunges is gonna be 10 reps on your right leg, 10 reps on your left leg. So let's get into it. Remember, when you're doing reverse lunges, you don't want your back knee to touch the floor, but like your back knee would come very close to the floor. And try to keep both knees at a 90 degree angle and you're pushing off from your heel. I recommend like doing any exercise in front of a mirror just so you could see your posture, your form, get like a better grasp of what you're doing. And if you feel like you're losing your balance, it's okay to take a wider stance rather than a narrow stance. Fluffy, can you please go into your bed? <laughs> anyway. Oh, because his bed's flipped. Oh, <laughs> Poor guy. He's still not going to go. Anyways, static lunges, one set, 10 reps on each leg. So, get into position. I like to start on the floor. Find my placement. Find where I'm stable. Grip the ground with my feet. Like, literally, where your toes are, like, gripping and you're pushing from your heel, remember, okay? Now, because we want this to be glute focused, instead of just going like this, I'm gonna hinge at the hip and kind of lean forward. So this is how it should be like. Okay. Booty is pumping. <laughs> now, we're gonna get into the working sets. So, with this, I want every single workout that you do, the last rep should be a struggle. You should be struggling to get that last rep in. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do hip thrusts, four sets of eight reps. Now you're gonna be like, eight reps, it's like, whoa, like what are you talking about? Like why not 20 reps? Well, you're focusing on the weight and you're going with the movement. So it's like that mind to muscle control that you're gonna achieve. Um, but just to warm up the glutes a little bit more, we're gonna get a resistance band and we're just gonna pump up like 15 reps to start with. So you have that like feeling in your glutes before you put a weight on. So we're gonna do that. And when we get the weight on, we're gonna pause at the top for three seconds. So like one rep and you're squeezing and you're holding for three seconds and then you're going down, okay? So let's get a resistance band. It's really important that you pick a height that you could literally, when you come up, you should be around like kind of straight, you know? Let me show you, for example, this, this is a good height because when I'm fully extended, my body is pretty straight. Now, let me show you the difference. Getting something that's gonna match my height versus getting something that doesn't match my height. Like, let's say, if I'm using this. This is a little bit higher than the one that I have. So when I'm extended, I'm not that straight. Am I straight? No, look, I'm not straight. So you're not gonna feel it as much. So get something that like when you go all the way up, your upper body should be the same height as your knees. Now, get your resistance band. We're pumping out around 15 to 20 reps. Main purpose is just to get the blood flowing to your glutes. You're gonna have your upper body, shoulders, kind of latched on to your box, your bench, whatever that you're using. And you should like push your knees outwards, find something that kind of works for you. Everyone's body is different. And then remember, you're always looking forward. You're not gonna go like this. You're gonna go like this. And now, Pump it up, 
20 reps, 15 reps. Feel in your butt, because I feel it in my butt. <laughs> now grab a weight and pick a weight that you kind of struggle with, because it's only eight reps, you know? I'm gonna pick 45s, and then what I would recommend, you don't need to do it, but I do recommend this, is to each set, try to increase your weight. I like to increase it by like five pounds as I go, and to just feel that like struggle a little bit more. So starting with 45s, four sets, eight reps, hold three seconds at the top when you extend, and your last rep should be a struggle. Okay, so after you do the hip thrusts, you're gonna do a hip thrust superset. So what is a superset? Superset is basically when you do one exercise and then without rest, you jump into the next one. So this hip thrust superset is gonna consist of three sets. So in these three sets, you're gonna do eight hip thrusts and then right after you finish eight hip thrusts, you're gonna do 10 cast bridges. And then after you finish the 10 cast bridges, you're gonna do a 10 second hold. So it's three exercises. Did I say two exercises? I'm in three. Three exercises back to back. Once you finish those three, your one set is complete. Okay? So we're gonna do that. He's looking at, he's looking at you. So we're gonna start off with eight hip thrusts. is basically like pulses in some sense. So this is a hip thrust. You're going all the way down. So cast bridges, it's gonna be like this. And then hold for 10 seconds. Oh my God, I wanna die. That's one set. Take your rest. I'm not picky with the rest. Just make sure you're fully rested. Take a minute, take two minutes, take 30 seconds. Just feel rested and then carry on with your, with your sets. So next exercise, this is gonna be chef's kiss, a staple piece for sure. It's going to be elevated reverse lunges, three sets. Now, three sets, but the reps are gonna differ. First set, it's gonna be 12 reps, body weight. After that, you're gonna grab a weight and do 10 reps each leg. And then after that, you're gonna grab a heavier weight and do eight reps each leg. So let's do it. I like to get a plate, but if you have like a little stool, little box, that'll help too. So what we're gonna do is Find a spot, I don't like the middle, I kind of like the edge of it. And then you're gonna just, you know, the reverse lunges that we did earlier, you're just gonna do that again. And then when you come up, do you see like my body's kind of tilted forward? I'm not like this, I'm tilted like this. So it's like, first find your foot placement. Like it's okay to struggle a little bit to get your foot placement. Like every single person is gonna struggle like their first set until they're comfortable with where their foot's at. But this is an elevated reverse lunge. 12 reps each leg. After that, grab your weight. You're usually supposed to put the weight on your working leg, but I personally just can't do that. So I just put it on this one so I'm more balanced when I do it but this is how I do it. You should feel it in your glute. Remember you're squeezing your butt at every rep. Oh 
remember, all movements should be slow and in control. You don't want to do this fast. Um, just remember, slow and control. Find your foot placement. Make sure you're pushing off of your front heel. You're not really using your back legs as much. Okay, last rep, eight reps. Pick a heavier weight and complete it. Do it for the dumpy. Do it for the dumpy even though I'm dying right now. Let's do it. Dumpy is literally my bodyguard. Guys, this is my bodyguard. He protects me. He protects me from the gym creams. <laughs> he barks at them. <laughs> okay, let's do it. He's literally so chill. Yeah. I don't know if he was chill like that. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, okay. Now, we're gonna do hyperextension but glute focused. So, I don't know if you noticed yet, but right now we're training the glutes in the shortened position, and then we're gonna train it in the lengthened position. So, hyperextension, glute focus, three sets, 15 reps. I'm gonna show you how it's done. All right, so this is a machine or equipment that you're gonna use. Adjust it, I'm short, so, I bring it all the way down and you're gonna go like this. And if you wanted to target your glutes, you're not gonna do the straight back. You're gonna hunch over and kind of like roll over like this. So it's gonna look ugly, but this is what you gotta do. Kind of your toes should be like flared outwards a little bit. You don't want it like this. You kind of want to twist it around. And then you're going to go like this. If you want to add a weight, I'm going to show you what to do. So, bye, have a good day. So you're going to grab your weight. Oftentimes what I see is that when people do the hyper extensions, they hold the weight close to their body. Don't do that. If you want to really feel it, it should be far away from your body. So, you know, like this and hold it far away. Not like this, okay? Like this. Toes are out, back is hunched. part RDLs. Look, if you're a beginner, I do not recommend for you to do RDLs until you like perfect it. My recommendation is build muscle in your legs first before you do RDLs because RDLs will mess you up, mess your lower back up if it's not done correctly. Practice it first. Every single time that I do an RDL, taking it from someone who has a spine injury, I practice it first. So what I'm gonna do, trick about RDLs is that you're pushing. You see, I'm hinging at the hip. So you're, it's like a door hinge. Think of, it, think of it as a door hinge, you know? My back isn't moving, it's just my hips. I'm pushing something. I'm pushing. Imagine like you're pushing a car door to close with your glutes. So push your hips back, come back up. Push your hips back, come back up. Push back. A lot of people go like this when they do RDLs. You're using your lower back, okay? Don't go like this. You go like this. You see? Hinge. And when you do this, and you're grabbing a weight, remember, shoulders are rolled back and down, okay? Your shoulder should always be down. Now it's okay when you're grabbing a heavy weight and your shoulder kind of rolls forward, but as long as your shoulder's locked back and down, you should be fine. 
Remember, core is engaged. You're not looking up and doing it. You're looking down. Tuck your chin in, you know? Or like, make sure, just make sure your upper back is straight. So, for RDLs, you're gonna do three sets of eight reps. I'm tightening my core. I am literally, this is why you wear flat shoes on leg day. You're kind of like, like grasping or grabbing the floor with your toes. And you're gonna just push back and come back up. Push back and come back up. Now, this is, there's two ways to do RDLs, glute focus versus hamstring. If I lock my knees and I'm not bending them, it's gonna be hamstring focus. So this is hamstring focus. There's not much bend in my knee. If I want a glute focus, I'm having a bend in my knee. You see the difference? And when you do this, like a tip for RDLs is like literally, like your butt cheeks are kind of like spreading apart. Just think about that. It's funny, it's weird, but it helps. Just literally think like, yeah, visual, but it helps, you know? You should feel in your butts, you should be going out. You should be literally like having that mind, mind to muscle connection at all times. The last exercise for a glute focused workout is abductions. Now, if you have an abduction machine, use it. If you don't, then you could just get a resistance band and do what I'm gonna do. So first, let me show you an abduction machine. So if you have one at your gym, you could use it. So let's go. So right over here, this is your friendly abduction machine that you're probably gonna see at your gym. Now, for this, again, you don't wanna pick an easy weight. It should be like hard. You should be feeling it. You should be grunting at the last like rep that you're doing. So because it's abduction, you if this is like this, you see, some gyms have it like both ways. You just wanna turn the cushion that's facing towards you. And what I like to do with this is I like to lean forward a little bit and go like this. Sometimes you could grab this for more stability, but you're gonna do your reps like this and then slow and controlled. You don't wanna go like this, you see? This is not good. No fast. Pick a good weight and go slow. Hold a little bit, go back down. Slow, hold, slowly go back down. After you do your reps, forward, we're gonna lean back. And then, like I'm short, so this machine is meant for taller people, but ideally, your back should be, like your entire back should be stuck like this. And if you can't, then put like a mat behind you. But I'm just showing you exercise. But you're gonna go like this. You see? You're gonna finish your reps like that. So if you have this, do it with this. If you don't, it's totally fine. I'm gonna show you how to do it with a resistance band. I kind of like it with the resistance span a little bit more, so let's do it. So for the abduction machine, you're gonna do three sets, 12 reps. So you're gonna do one entire set, would be 12 reps, lean forward, 12 reps, like back. So that would be one set. Now, if you're doing the banded resistance abduction one, you're gonna do three sets, 12 reps, and one set would basically be you're leaning forward, you're doing it. 12 reps, then you're straight and you're doing it. And then you're leaning back and doing it, okay? So we're gonna do it right now so you get a glimpse of how you're supposed to do it. And I'm gonna lean forward. I'm gonna tighten my core. Every workout that you do, you should be engaging your core. You know, you don't wanna put that on your back. So you're gonna go like this, pick your thing. One.
as you can see, I'm kind of on the edge. You do want to be on the edge when you do this. And then I'm leaning back. And then I'm doing it. Oh, okay. Whew, you're done. I'm so proud of you. Dump you approve. Let's do cool down stretches. Now I know you guys skip your stretches, so don't do that for the love of God. Please do your stretches. You do not want to be injured. Don't be lazy, okay? You're gonna regret it. So cool down stretches. You're gonna come with me. Now, if you have a foam roller, I do recommend you to foam roll it out. If you don't, totally fine. You could do the other exercises that we do. But you're gonna grab this puppy and you're gonna put it down. I'm gonna, whoa, lie down like this. My glute muscle should be on it. And I'm coming down and I'm going back up. This feels so good, guys. Like, do not play with me. Like, I'm just gonna go like that. I would do this like 30 seconds each side. If you don't, totally fine. We're gonna do other cool down stretches. You're gonna hold all of these stretches for 30 seconds. If you wanna do it for a minute, you're more than welcome to. Just make sure you just do it. So this is a good like quad stretch. I know this focus wasn't quad related, but you kind of do work out your quads and you do the lunges in some sense. So it's just good to like stretch everything out. If you see where I'm holding my ankle, first of all, be stable. Make sure that weight is on your front leg. Well, do you see I'm like falling? I need to find my stability right now. I'm stable. My hand, it's not grabbing my, you know, foot. You're not stretching your ankle. You're stretching your quad. So grab your ankle and you're gonna lean forward and you're gonna pull and you should feel the quad stretch over here. And you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds to a minute. Everything's one set. Now this is my favorite glute stretch. I love this one. So you're gonna go like this. One leg comes around and you're kind of sitting down, but extending the other one. You should feel it in your glutes and in your hamstring. So you're gonna go like this and you're just gonna go down. Just like that. You're gonna hold it for 30 seconds to a minute. If you're super tight, like just go like this. It's totally fine. But if you could go all the way down, like good. If you can't, this is like totally fine. You know, thanks for bringing that up. And then we're gonna do a butterfly. I'm not the most flexible, I am working on it. My chiropractor yelled at me last time and he's like, flexibility is strength. I'm like, okay, I'll work on it. <laughs> so I'm working on it. But yeah, literally like, Lifting weights can make you stiff as hell, so work on flexibility. If you're more flexible, you're gonna notice that your lifts are gonna be better. This is good for your back. I'm rolling my shoulders up, head is up. Toes are pointed out. Hold it for 30 seconds to a minute. Then after that, you're just gonna go into this pose. You should feel this in like your back and your like shoulders in some sense. Hold it, get that stretch. Okay, that is a glute focused lower body workout, fall along. And I hope your glute pump is immaculate. And if this video is helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share and let me know, comment. I love doing these and I think it's so fun doing it together. So I will catch you next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Bye guys.